Welcome back to Digital Bytes. I'm your host, Ralph Franzio, the technical director of the Digital Experience. So I am not alone today, and I'm also not in an office. It's a fake office, but I have Amy Fowler with me. And Amy, could you just introduce yourself really quick? Sure, Ralph. Uh, as you said, I'm Amy Fowler. And uh, yes, I've seen that TV show with my namesake in it. And uh, I'm celebrating my eighth anniversary at Pure this week. And I run the uh, strategy for the Flashlight Business Unit. So I've been here for six, so you've been here a bit longer than I have. So I wanted to ask you about something that's come up a lot in different episodes that we've had. We, we've talked a lot about safe mode, and that's a feature of our product set, and it, it extends across product lines. But when we talked about it last time, it was very centric to Flash Array. And, um, and, and I think with ransomware on the rise, it, it's, it's an important topic for our customers and prospects. So just tell me, like, give me your perspective on the importance of safe mode uh, as it pertains to your particular business unit. We actually introduced the safe mode snapshot feature in Flashblade about three years ago. And initially there was a customer request that we have a way to ensure that snapshots that they were taking on behalf of their customers had a next level of protection in the event that they had, for example, a rogue administrator, right? So they wanted to know that uh, if they had a retention policy on those snapshots, even if someone destroyed the primary volume, they still were able to recover. And since then, a couple of things have happened. You know, one thing is that we've seen, unfortunately, this significant uptick in, in ransomware attacks. And so the use case here where you have a rogue actor is similar to the original concept of the rogue administrator. And the capabilities we built in have become more and more applicable especially because Flashblade is often used as a target for rapid restore and rapid recovery of backup data sets. So now you've got your backup data on Flashblade, you take your safe mode snapshot, and what's key is that whereas a few years ago, there were fewer organizations who foresaw a likely need to actually have to restore more than a you know, dropped table in a database or a corrupt application, something like that, because restoring a few terabytes in most cases isn't that challenging. But unfortunately, we've had the situation you know, arise where really anyone is susceptible to a situation where you need to restore your entire backup data set to production. And that's generally these days on the order of tens or more often hundreds of terabytes. And so the massive throughput of Flashblade combined with the fact that you've got that backup data set protected with the safe mode snapshots really makes for an incredibly uh, compelling value proposition. And a really what we see is a critical piece of the security puzzle that organizations need to put in place to protect themselves and ensure that they can recover as seamlessly as possible in the event that they, they do uh, get hit with ransomware attack. You know, it makes me think to certain scenarios that I've read in the media and things like that, where it'll say, you know, the data set's encrypted and the customer has no recourse at that point other than to just sort of pay the ransom and hope that the data is accessible after where in certain scenarios this could potentially even avoid that that piece of it you you know that you have uh, something that can't be altered and something that can't be manipulated and it is that that data from some point in time that they can restore so I, it's just it's just really important and i think with the speed and efficiency of the flash blade product i think one of the most important pieces is okay can i get it back and then can I get it back really quickly because uh, potentially they're in a locked out state where they can't run their application for some period of time. So this is this is really great. I, I'm just curious, Amy, if, if um, do you have resources that, you know, that the, the viewers of this show could reach out to in order to learn more information or? Well, you know, certainly your, your unstructured data specialist, if you know who they are, uh, there certainly uh, is information on the Pure Storage website. And we actually also have safe mode snapshot consulting services. So we have advisory services to help determine the optimal way to, to architect your safe mode snapshots, again, across your entire portfolio. As, as Ralph mentioned, this isn't unique these days to Flashblade. We've also extended it across the portfolio and we wanna help make sure people understand the best places to use it for the best scenarios that they wanna set themselves up to recover from. Awesome, and I just realized we're in a break room. There's coffee and there's, looks like, sparkling water behind us so i think um i think it's time to take a break and uh we can go on to do our, our whatever we have to do for the rest of our day and um i appreciate you joining 
And uh, yeah, if there's anything else you want to plug, let me know. If not, I can just uh, I can let everyone go. Oh, just give me an invite back again soon, please. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. I will have a couple links in the description of this video to additional resources around Safe Mode uh, and the other products that support it within our portfolio. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, Amy. <laughs>